and win. We're going to take another call from Christina in California. Hi, Christina. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. You have a question um, for us? Yes, I have a question. Um, I'm trying to understand the educational right co holder. It says that um, parental rights to make educational decisions are retained, and, and then it says the court appoints the following person as educational right co, you know, co holder, and which is the stepmom. But does that give her permission to move him out of the school he's currently in into another school? Not without your consultation and consent. And if you don't consent, you're gonna, you both are going to have to go to the judge and let the judge make the decision. Okay, I figured that. Because um, I just talked to my son um, on visitation, um, and he says that they're rolling him next Thursday. And I... I I just found this out today, and I'm like, they, how can they do that? So, yeah, can I'm, I have a court on October 7th. Um, just, I guess, from what the lawyer's telling me, it's just a mediation for mm -hmm. them to try to lower their charges on me so that I would agree, but which I'm not going to because mm -hmm. um, I want a trial. But the trial isn't happening until October 16th now from what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. So they can't do nothing until October 16th, right? <laughs> Um, well, they can do something with respect to the ch child and where he or she is going to school. Um, so if you have a problem with him going uh, or changing schools, you're going to need to talk to your attorney and maybe have him or her walk it on so that the judge can know your objection and the reasons why and so that the judge can make a decision what school he's going to. Typically, though, you know, people change schools um, because of geographic locations. You may live in one city and the child was going to school there, and now he's placed, you know, with dad and stepmom in another city. And, you know, just transportation-wise, they can't make it to his home school. Well, his school currently is online in California, but oh. he's in South Carolina. And the judge knows that it's online. That's all. And, you know, I, I don't think the judge expects him to change schools. I really don't. Right. Well, if he's online on school in California and living in South Carolina, you have a legitimate argument there to make Christina to keep him in the same school. Okay. To so try to ask the lawyer to do a walk on, even yeah. though we have court mediation on the seventh. Yes. And it's going to be the, that's the other thing. I just found out the mediation judge, like the person that's supposed to do the mediation, mm -hmm. is the judge we're going to have on October 16th. Hmm. I mean, you know, that's not unusual, but, you know, you have to give consent to let that judge, who's the trial judge, be also be the mediation judge. Generally, you know, I, I, and I don't want you to say what county you're in, but generally that's not an issue that I've come up and seen a problem with, you know, with judges that I've appeared in front of. You know, most of these judges try to be very fair about the situation. Hey, Christina. I okay. want to thank you for calling and thank you for listening. Uh, call, us, call us in a couple of weeks and give us an update.